I'm Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney. Thanks for joining us. Former President Bill Clinton is in town today, fundraising for his wife's presidential run. He has three stops today in the Triangle. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick is live at Shaw University in Raleigh, where Clinton was earlier today. Bo. Sharon, we're only about three months away from the election right now, so raising money is key. And for at least one of these events here today, it was a high price to get in. There was a lot of excitement at Shaw University as Bill Clinton arrived, shaking the hands of some students. I'm thinking like, Bill Clinton on our campus on the first day of orientation is kind of, yeah, that's, a, that's different. Right before his Shaw visit, Clinton went to this home inside the Raleigh Beltline. It's the home of Raleigh tech entrepreneurs Brooks Bell and Jesse Lipson. Both of them spoke at the Democratic National Convention. There are a lot of people that are glad to see President Clinton. He's got a lot of old friends here that campaign for him when, when he ran. Clinton advisor Bruce Thompson was at the fundraiser. To get in cost $2,700, and if you want a photo with Bill Clinton, that was $10,000. Hillary Clinton has been winning the fundraising battle over Donald Trump, though Trump has started to increase his fundraising in recent months. In July, the Clinton campaign took in $90 million, while the Trump campaign brought in about $80 million. All of this is great, but what really matters is what happens on Election Day and it takes money to be able to put that operation together. Clinton also has a fundraiser tonight in Durham. Now, ahead at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from a neighbor in that other community, and you'll learn how young kids these days, how they view Bill Clinton. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. All right, Bo, thank you. In response to President Clinton's visit, the GOP reminds voters, quote, North Carolina cannot afford four more years of the same weak leadership that has underestimated the threat of radical Islamic terrorism. Happening right now, Donald Trump.